Hi, Fernando. Hi, Postcrossers. My name is Roxana, and I've been postcrossing since 2011, and I am still here. I live in Los Angeles, California. Sunny, of course. You're not seeing the outside, but it's sunny. You know, a lot of people write to me if it's always sunny here, and for the most part, yeah. So that is true. Question number one. So I came across Post Crossing because I had a coworker back in a chocolate store that I used to work in during the recession. So there wasn't really too much to do. And so she mentioned this project she was involved in and that sparked my curiosity because as a lifelong collector of Post Cross, sorry, postcards um, throughout my life, through like travels through, you know, whatever I can get my hands on as a young girl, you know, they're, they're affordable, so why not? I decided to give it a go. It'd be also kind of a, a way to maybe get rid of them as well because they were starting to kind of pile up. And so I, I've been doing it since and I absolutely love it. The first postcard obviously was the most anticipated one because that was just the most exciting one to receive. And I still have that one, of course. And, you know, I'm still, I'm still doing it now. You know, I send a lot more postcards out. Back when I started, a postage stamp um, for international was only, I believe, like 98 cents. Now we just had another increase, so now they're up to $1.40. And so I don't know how much more I'll be able to do it. I'm sure I will, but sometimes with those increases, it kind of makes me a little nervous. But there's so much joy behind it that I, I really don't see myself stopping. Question number two. I do have other hobbies. I still dance ballet, so I go to ballet class twice a week. I've been dancing for over 25 years, so that is probably the most active hobby I have and a more consistent one, more than post crossing, surprisingly. Um, and other than that, I still do archery. I also have been, been doing that for about 10 years and it's very meditative to me and I love the focus that you need and the quiet too in order to kind of be successful, right? And um, in shooting your arrows into the target. Another hobby too is just traveling. I love to travel. I love to see other cultures. I love to talk to other people. As introverted as I can be, I like to see what people are up to. And I guess post-crossing is in a way kind of traveling through paper, but you know, in, in person too, I love to do so. And um, couch surfing, if you guys are some familiar with that, I used to do that more when I was younger. Um, and that really opened up another world to me um, of kind of like local tourism. And I just love that. Um, sometimes I wish I can kind of go back to my younger self and do it all over again, but things change. Um, one thing I collect actually, um, that's part of the question. One thing that I collect are these miniature souvenir view postcards. And I've just kind of collected them throughout years. When I studied in Italy, I did go to architecture school. So it was an option for us to study for a whole year in Florence, Italy. Um, and I found some flea markets there that would sell these curious little packets of little postcards or almost little photographs. And I just started to kind of buy them here and there. And then over the course of years, if I found myself in antique stores or even on eBay, I would just snap them right up. And I try to get, um, I try to get postcards, the mini postcards of places that I have been to. This is, um, Geneva, I believe. So I have not been there, but I do want to go there. So maybe it's also kind of something that I strive for. But you can see that they come in a pack of 10, sometimes 20. Um, my preference is black and white, but sometimes I do have the, what is it called when they color it in? Colorized photographs. So this is of the Grand Canyon. I have other ones of Carlsbad National Park, the caves there. I have also some from France that I haven't been to, but I found them so lovely. And also some larger ones. Like you can see that these are almost almost postcard size. Maybe they are from Versailles. Um, and even this one, curious, I'm not really much of a collector of these, the ones that are stapled on the side, but these, the flip books also are very curious to me. So I'm still collecting them, not you know aggressively, but I do enjoy um, having those in my hands. Question number three. So I don't really have an organized way of keeping everything. I think initially way back when in 2011, I tried. So I try to keep them in this like photo album of sorts. So this is probably like my first hundred or so postcards that I ever received. 
And they're all there. Oh, that's a vintage one. That's not part of post-processing, but they're all there. All of these are there. Some of them don't fit, so they're just loosely put in there. But I think one of the things that kind of made it all interesting is that I noticed, since this was at my parents' house for the longest time, and I just picked it up yesterday for the purpose of this video, I noticed that I actually had the messages face up, not the image. And so in a way, it's very important for, I think what's the most important thing for me via uh, post-crossing is the fact that the message is more important than whatever is sent to me. Although, of course, it, it does matter, you know, like having something that I truly like or it's on my suggestion list and I receive it, it, it makes it more special. But I also, aside from this album, I think I kind of gave up after that. And I just, I just put everything in bins. I just, I try to keep it organized more or less, but I don't know if you can see the organization in this. This is one bin, and then there's another bin, another one of the similar size, and then we have a ginormous bin as well. So we just, I don't know how I store, ooh, I don't know how I store this, but we do it. Um, sometimes there's points where we're like, wow, we need to just like clean it up. But then when it comes to, you know, trying to get rid of postcards, it's impossible. It's just, there's so many messages in there. There's so much time people took, you know, time out of their day, just to even put a stamp on there. Even if it just says happy post crossing, they took time. And so a lot of it means so much to me. Um, and then I'll be showing you um, my mailbox and also where I deliver, I guess, um, where the outgoing mail is. So we'll cut to that as well. So this is where I pick up my mail. And this is also where I drop off my mail for the post person to pick it up. And so I actually have a few to send out. So we'll just send a few of them out right now. See, there you go. An outgoing mail and I'll be picked up tomorrow. Question number four. So number four is a very hard question. I mean, how, you saw all those postcards. How am I supposed to choose my favorite? I would say that my favorites, I guess, would be along the lines of, you know, those that kind of maybe abide by my suggestion list. One of them would be cats. I love cats. I have three of my own. Um, this one was sent by, oh goodness, there's no name on here. Well, this is from Taiwan. And it's very adorable because it has a family of cats posing for their family picture. So what makes it very curious is that right there, if you can see that, it's like a little, almost like a feather toy um, to catch their attention. So I found the level of detail of this postcard, postcard to be quite adorable. Another one would be probably this one. This one, I think it's all over, um, like all encompassing favorite, I think, and also just the way she took the time as well to put it in a plastic sleeve for, you know, safety. So she actually put the stamp over this plastic sleeve. And I've always wondered about how to do that. And I just refound this. And so I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do um, in the future. She also had beautiful handwriting. I love this the little date stamp on there, you know, with post crossing. And so I just enjoyed all the level of detail on there. And because, you know, I do work in the architecture field, you know, buildings are always something of interest to me. Another one too, like we just discussed too, with the mini postcards that are vintage and antique. I love a lot of vintage things. And this one came from Hawaii. And this is a real vintage postcard. And I just love that, you know, she took that old postcard and wrote on it. So I just love that, you know, she chose something for me. Question number five. I have never been to Portugal, but I really want to go one day. I've been to Spain many times, and a lot of people from Portugal will always say, like, you're right next door. And I just I just never make it out there. But I do want to go, and I will go one day. Uh, my parents have gone, and they loved it. And funny enough, a lot of Californians are moving to Portugal because of Apparently, it feels like California, but in Europe, and the standard of living is a little cheaper out there. So I guess, you know, it's kind of like going somewhere that feels like home to them. So there's been a little bit of attention on fellow Californians who have done that move. But um, maybe one day I'll see you, Fernando. But thank you so much for everything. All right, ciao.